I'll very quickly introduce the next uh, clip you'll see, which is Kirsten Stewart. She was a landscape or is a landscape designer in Los Angeles. Uh, I met her actually at a rally in front of the federal building uh, for Ramos and Compiègne, and uh, I was uh, struck by uh, her. Uh, uh, well, I was struck by her. Uh, uh, um, her ability to convey, actually her story was pretty amazing as you'll see. Uh, she went from hiring illegal immigrants when she came down here to uh, having this personal epiphany of the impact that uh, that has on her immediate community. And so she speaks pretty uh, forthrightly about the change of heart she had and the consequences she's personally paid as a result of um, hiring only legal citizens. I'm a landscape designer in Santa Monica, California. Um, I moved down, to, uh, started this business about two years ago in Southern California. Uh, previous to that, I lived in the Bay Area and I owned a furniture company. Generally what I do is I offer full service for the client. I, I do a design plan, I, I purchase the materials, and I have the job installed for the client. The landscape design market in Southern California is highly competitive. Um, I think one reason is because of our weather, people really use their outdoor space quite a bit. Um, there is a lot of wealth in this area where a lot of people do use uh, landscape designers. Um, it's highly competitive and the issue that, that I've come across many, many times is because it is so competitive um, that in order to compete, I'm unable, I can't, I'm unable to compete using legal American workers. The impact of illegal immigration in Southern California is so great that everybody in my line of work only uses illegal labor uh, and their labor costs are incredibly, uh, incredibly inexpensive, much less than mine. The way I became aware of the problem of illegal immigration was once I moved to Southern California, living in the Bay Area. Uh, it was, wasn't really an issue. We never discussed it. No one ever talked about it. it wasn't, I wasn't even aware of the problem. But once I moved to Southern California, it was so apparent uh, that we have an enormous problem with illegal immigration. Uh, the nannies, the gardeners, all of the workers that are in my neighborhood uh, that work for most of my friends and acquaintances on the west side all seem to be illegal immigrants. I, I really wasn't aware of the fiscal impact of illegal immigration and I used illegal workers just like everybody else. It was just so common that there isn't any, there isn't a stigma attached to it, it just is what everybody does. Um, I had an illegal nanny, uh, she was from Brazil, she came here when I first hired her, she hardly spoke any English uh, and as time went on she would tell me, you know, they, she, got, she had free health care, she had free dental care. When her baby was born, she was very happy that her son was going to get a social security number. She had her baby at Cedar sinai completely paid by the taxpayers. Uh, and that is when a light bulb sort of went off in my head that there's something very wrong with this scenario. Using illegal uh, labor in landscape design generally accounts for approximately 25%, if that, of the entire cost. The rest of the costs are through my design fee, through plant material, through hardscape material, through furniture and accessories. From the beginning I never did look into legal labor because it was so easy and so plentiful just to, if you just need a casual laborer, you, know, you get a call and somebody needs something right away, you just drive down around the corner and you pick up a worker. Um, it was just very easy. What prompted the transition from using illegal workers to legal workers was my eye-opening experience of living in Southern California and really looking around and seeing the negative impacts of illegal immigration. I see my friends not able to send their children to public schools because the schools are overcrowded uh, with illegal immigrants and their children. Uh, going to the emergency room, I'm waiting for hours to be seen by a doctor. The waiting rooms are crowded uh, with what seem to be illegal immigrants. You look around, you look at the environmental impact, you look at the traffic, you look at overcrowded housing, and all of these things affect our quality of life on a day-to-day -day basis, and I just couldn't be a part of that anymore. What I did was I just made a conscious decision. I will not hire anyone who is not in this country legally. 
So I decided to use their, instead of using the casual labor system of a, a county sponsored day labor center or going to a Home Depot uh, or using the people that I'd been using, I use companies such as Labor Ready who have legal screened workers uh, that I can call and use on a casual basis. My labor costs immediately jumped up. I was went from paying someone anywhere from eight to ten dollars an hour, suddenly I was paying fifteen dollars per hour for a legal worker. So obviously my labor costs uh, increased tremendously. The result of my labor costs uh, increasing so dramatically is I started to lose jobs. Uh, you go out to bid a job, uh, you, you're charging your design fee, you're charging for plant material and hardscape and you do mark that up a certain percentage, uh, you know, just like anyone does when you're running a business, there is a markup. Um, and I wasn't, not only was I not able to mark up the labor, but I was so far out of the ballpark with the labor compared to other people who are paying eight to ten dollars an hour for their laborers. So my costs were just completely out of the ballpark. The type of questions I was getting from prospective clients, obviously when they're bidding out a job, they usually speak to several different designers. They would always ask me why, they, I mean they would look at the quote and they would say, why are your labor costs so much more? Uh, you know, everything else looks great, we love the designs, but why is this, this is so much more than everybody else? And I would say I only use legal workers. And generally, um, I then get a blank stare, like it doesn't register with people, they just don't think about it. It's so ingrained uh, in our culture in Southern California, you don't even think twice. You don't consider the fact that someone is here illegally and their employer does not have to pay for workers' comp, doesn't have to pay their health insurance. Uh, they just don't think about that. They just think about the bottom line and how much they're going to have to pay. If following the blank stare, generally, thank you very much. We enjoyed meeting you and we'll let you know. End of story. End of story. This has really affected my life. I have lost a tremendous amount of business since making this, the decision to only use legal labor. I, I generally lose out on, I would say I've lost out on 30 jobs in the last 18 months. Prognosis of me continuing as a landscape designer in Southern California only using legal labor is not very good. I don't think I can continue. I need to make a living. And uh, it's to the point now where I'll, I'll go and I'll I'll, I'll quote something, but I don't, you know, I don't look, I, I don't expect a phone call back. I feel let down by my government. I'm trying to do the right thing and to only hire legal workers, yet they are sort of complicit in this whole issue of illegal immigration. They are leaving the borders wide open. They're providing services to illegal immigrants, and I am being punished for wanting to do the right thing.